Hi everyone, my name is Charles. Today, I will show you Nebula's uh, most popular regenerative battery cell charge and discharge test system, BAT5300. This test system is fully controlled by our test automation software, NEPTS, so that users can edit test procedures, execute automated test runs, and post-process the test data, all in one platform. From the operation safety standpoint, this product has successfully received CE and UL certification. A battery cell charge and discharge test system, sometimes called a battery cycler, is an essential test equipment for many applications, such as battery cycle characteristic test, cycle capacity fading test, rate to charge and discharge test, cycle life test based on normal operation conditions, and some extreme tests, for example, the deep discharge test. The Nebula's battery cell charge and discharge test system is widely used in battery cell manufacture process, battery cell development process, and in some labs that conduct compliance and certification tests. In general, the Nebula battery test system always follows a modular design concept for scalability. What you can see here is a Nebula's 5 volt 3 ampere test system that consists of 8 test modules in total of 16 channels. The whole cabinet exterior features a power indicator, an emergency button, and a tricolor alarm light. Now I will show you the rear of the test system. This is the rear view of the test system. This equipment is designed to support various industrial voltage from different countries and regions, such as Europe and North America. Each test module comes with a set of current, voltage, and thermal cables, which will connect the test system with unit under test, which is the battery. This system has energy recycling feature, which allows the excessive energy to be circulated back to the power grid at high efficiency. Very often, the battery cell extreme tests are performed with using a so-called battery cell overcharge explosion proof chamber. The four-quadrant DC to DC converter of the Tesla system offers an elegant way to control current and voltage, which enables complex and challenging tests under extreme conditions. For example, it is possible to perform zero-volt deep discharge and even under negative voltage via 10 meter or even longer current cables. We have introduced many of the important features now let's dig into some of the detailed specifications. As for the performance, this test system delivers high measurement accuracy at both the full scale and for different subscales. The current measurement error is less than 0.05% in the subscales. The high current responsiveness enables the possibility of running highly dynamic transient tests to characterize the battery cell behavior in real-world operations. Nebula's test system also supports the current and voltage settings at the resolution as frequent as 20 milliseconds, so it can simulate a wide range of dynamic driving cycles. Last but not least, the Nebula cell cycler can integrate with other test devices, such as climate ch climatic chamber, water cooling system, and repo simulator. At Nebula, the product's safety and reliability are always our first priority during the product design and development stages. First, the test systems feature multiple cell protection mechanisms, such as upper and lower limit protection for voltage, current, temperature, and capacity. The equipment will automatically stop in case a battery failure is detected. In addition, this product offers a secure data storing feature in case 
the application PC is disconnected or runs into problems, our measurement channels will continue to be functional for extended hours, so the measurement data will not get lost before the application PC is restored. Also, when the equipment loses power accidentally, the data will be tempor temporarily secured and will be retrieved once the power is back on. Next, I will briefly introduce you how the automation and the control software can be used. On the primary interface, we have multiple channels connected. Here, we have some real-time data from the batteries are fed into. If we want to run an automatic test, we can use the right context and select the step file and select a predefined test profile here and click next step. In this interface, we can preview uh, the test items of this test profile. If we think it's okay, we can complete it and start the automatic test. Press confirm and the test starts now. We can see here a relative time is increasing now and the real time, real voltage and current data are already fed into the parameters. After the test run is completed, the test data will be stored and available for immediate review. We can now open the data analyze interface and our software offers very powerful features to allow users to plot various graphs on the left side of the screen. For example, we have a voltage plot here and a current and several others plots here. And on the right hand side, we have some numeric tables and you can see the complete data overview here. The data can be exported into different file formats. For example, the CSV and the Excel format for convenience and uh, future analysis. Now, we are coming to the end of today's demonstration. We thank you for your time and hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.